thanks for visiting us this morning at arcletechshomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Morses with your Tuesday morning forecast update. As expected, what was uh, Tropical Storm Marco yesterday has fizzled out pretty quick, so it's what we now refer to as post-tropical depression Marco. So basically, it's just an area of low pressure down along the coastline at the moment. It will bring some impacts today, expecting we'll see some tropical air move in, so we will see some increase in clouds, and eventually we will likely see a few scattered thunderstorms in East Texas and Louisiana. But again, the bigger issue for us is going to be Hurricane Laura in the upcoming days. So as far as your Tuesday, we will start out in the low 70s this morning. We'll be dry through the morning hours, but you can see some of the clouds picking up this afternoon and eventually a few scattered showers and storms along and south of I-20. We could see a little bit of rain make its way into the northern Arkletex as well, but uh, again, most of the rain today confined to East Texas and Louisiana. At this moment, we don't expect that we'll see any kind of severe weather, but of course, frequent lightning and may see some brief heavy rainfall with the storms later today, also tonight. We'll pick up a little bit of a break on Wednesday before the impacts from Hurricane Laura begin to move in. As far as the temperatures for today with the increase in cloud cover, should have most locations in the upper 80s and low 90s, so it'll be cooler than yesterday but the humidity is starting to crank up a bit, so it's basically a wash. It will still feel uh, pretty hot for most of us this afternoon. Here's a look at Laura. It continues to sit out there in the Gulf of Mexico. will likely strengthen into a hurricane today, turning north and impacting the Louisiana or Texas coastline very close to Sabine Pass there early Thursday morning. So right now, the official National Hurricane Center does have it upgraded to a major hurricane, so a Category 3 at landfall. It will really be cranking, so this thing will be moving quickly, so it will likely move into Louisiana or deep east Texas still as a category one hurricane early Thursday morning so it looks like a lot of these impacts for us and the most severe impacts will likely be Thursday morning especially across our Louisiana parishes if there's no change to the track notice that cone of uncertainty has narrowed today as well so it looks like either way we will see some impacts from this on Thursday regardless of if there is a track shift to the east or to the west and we could continue to see those impacts into late Thursday especially across Across southern Arkansas but at this point everybody should be prepared to uh, see some significant weather impacts during the day on Thursday. Looks like give you a look at future cast here give you a better idea of uh, how this will all time out. There's a look at some of the outer bands from uh, Laura that may affect us during the day on Wednesday. Really don't expect that we'll see anything significant on Wednesday but as we start to move into Thursday morning you will see uh, just this slug of rainfall that begins to make its way into the region. That is going to be the inner eye wall of what will be uh, likely still at least a Category 1 hurricane as it makes its way in, so the weather will deteriorate pretty rapidly up and down the I-49 corridor early on uh, Thursday morning. Those showers and storms associated with Laura will continue to the north, so it looks like the worst of the weather for southern Arkansas will be late morning and during the afternoon hours, and the worst of the impacts is usually to the east of the eye wall, so that's why we think the worst of the weather at this moment will be across Arkansas and Louisiana, but that doesn't uh, exclude you folks in Oklahoma and East Texas. We will likely see some significant impacts there as well. Uh, but as far as some of the severe weather impacts, as far as isolated tornadoes and things like that that we often see with tropical systems, uh, it looks like that will be confined to Louisiana and Arkansas at this point. But of course, there could be some changes here. So we will have a lot of tropical storm force wind gusts across much of the region. And we'll probably see an isolated corridor of hurricane wind gusts, uh, 75 miles per hour or higher across Louisiana. And again, those isolated tornadoes at this point look like they would mainly affect Louisiana as well as Arkansas, kind of right along the track of where the center of circulation will be. And uh, again, some heavy rain, which will lead to some flash flooding. And I think uh, one of the issues that we could see fairly widespread in addition to some flash flooding will be some power outages. So make sure you are prepared for that, whether it's, uh, you know, just kind of stocking up on batteries. It's going to be one of those things. If you lose your power early in the day, the wind will be high enough that the crews probably won't be able to get out there and restore it. So we could be looking at power outages uh, that last in excess of 24 hours or so across much of the region. Uh, as far as the rainfall, this is the latest look from the Weather Prediction Center. Highest amounts, as to be expected, will be along into the uh, east of the center of circulation, so Louisiana and Arkansas. Pretty good slug of rainfall there that could result in some three to six inch accumulations. Texarkana right now, uh, we can see two to three inches there, and then we kind of taper those amounts, east Texas and Oklahoma, where we could see an inch or two of rain. So it looks like the highest flood impacts also across Louisiana and Arkansas, and uh, expect some gusty winds through the day. We do have uh, what will be kind of 
kind of the remnants of Marco that will get pulled in behind this storm Friday and through the upcoming weekend. So we are keeping those scattered showers and storms. We're just kind of left with that tropical air into the weekend. So uh, again, no significant impacts Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, but we are going to have those scattered storms in the forecast going through the weekend and into next week.